Hey guys, welcome to Smoke and Live. My name is Kway, and if you're watching this video right now, then you must be probably kind of confused why I'm wearing sunglasses indoors. Anyways, if you guys are watching this video, this might be your first time watching my hookah channel and my videos. I've been doing hookah reviews for the past 45 years now. I felt like, you know, changing it up. In every one of my other reviews, I have been using a different hookah and different tobacco and different and trying to maximize each tobacco which is good but this video is about my hookah channel setup which is this right here now let's just break it down real quick so you'll know what i'm using and i'm going to explain to you why i chose this setup and also why every one of my reviews for the near future, all the future reviews is gonna be with this exact same setup, okay? First of all, we have a Cloud Lotus on top with three coals. The coals I'm gonna be using are gonna be Golden Desert Charcoal, okay? And the bowl I'm using is the Cloud Lotus or just Cloud Vitra bowl, V1 actually. I don't have the V2 yet, but this is the V1. I'm using a Regal Prince also just a regular standard egyptian vase and a brazilian thunder hose now the reason why i chose this specific setup is because this is what i use on a day-to-day -day basis i felt like i needed my reviews and i needed everything to be very consistent and having this specific setup gives me a baseline of everything so for instance if i was going to try out a new hookah tobacco I'm gonna use the same setup and change out the tobacco that's inside. But if I'm using a, let's say, a new hose or something, what's gonna be loaded inside this bowl is gonna be Alfakar Mint. Alfakar Mint is probably one of the most simplistic flavors that we have all smoked and enjoyed, most of us. I'm not saying all of us like mint, but most of us do. Um, so for instance, if I was gonna change out the vase, I'm gonna keep the rest of the hookah same so I know what it is and I know the baseline of how the hookah should work. So for instance, if I change out the hose, change out the vase, or change out the bowl, change out the cloud to tin foil. Most of the time I'm gonna to try to use the cloud as long as those bowls are cloud lotus compatible. But in those bowl reviews, I will be using tin foil and a cloud lotus. Um, but for instance, if I don't have this bowl right here, let's just say I have a mason bowl, um, I'm going to still put the cloud on it, give that a baseline, and then give it a tinfoil baseline to see where it sits on a scale of, you know, how to maximize your consistency of your hookah. Because this setup op opens up a new world of consistency. I wanted to see how consistent I can make a hookah, especially if I kept using different hookahs, I would always get different results. But if I use the same hookah and I'm trying to review something, this will give you a legitimate baseline of what I think of that specific product okay so yeah let's take a few hits i'm going to explain a little bit more now for the reason why i chose this setup is because first of all the cloud lotus and the v triple keeps the heat very very consistent from everything um i have plenty of different bowls upstairs from harmony bowls to mason bowls to regular egyptian clay bowls but those bowls didn't give me enough consistency for me to run an absolute baseline on what I think. So I decided to opt for a class and silicone mix, which is the v -tribble. The stem, what can I say about the stem? Regal is my favorite hookah. Personal opinion, it is my favorite hookah. I've been using it for the past two and a half years now. So I know how they're supposed to work. I know everything that needs to be known about Regal, George, I love you. I know you're probably not watching this video, but if you are, hi. Um, also, Brazilian Thunder Hose is because, I don't know. I Ever since I had the Brazilian Thunder Hose, I've been in love with this thing. So in love with this Brazilian Thunder Hose. The gauge on it, how big it is, and you know, just the handle and just the aesthetics of the hose. This smokes absolutely great. You can see how the, the hose has no tug. So I don't have to worry about this hose knocking over the hookah like some silicone hoses. Actually, before I make this video, I was thinking of putting a silicone hose so we get more consistency in it too. But I decided to opt for Brazilian Thunder because that's exactly what I liked. And if I chose the silicone hose, I knew I wouldn't be happy with the results 
because I would miss this beautiful hose right here. And you know, I chose Alfalker Mint because Alfalker Mint is one of the most consistent tobacco flavors there is that I have tried out compared to like a lot of different companies and also a lot of different flavors. And Alfalker Mint is one of the flavors you can pick up anywhere most of the time. 80% of the time you can pick up anywhere out of smoke shop and it's easy to get to all these products are listed online where you can buy it you know there's five star hookah there's she should I keep forgetting the name I'll list a link a huge link down below of all the websites I know and the distributors that sell these specific products so you guys if you guys want to see you know the results for yourself of how good of a consistency you can get on a tobacco. I'll send you guys the link to all the stuff I use right here, down there, bam, okay? Now, if you might notice, I forgot one thing to tell you guys, I am using a silicone diffuser on the bottom. Now, this gives it a good, consistent bubbling, the same water level, everything is gonna be exactly the same for each of the reviews I'm about to do in the future. Matter of fact, after this video you're about to watch, I'm actually gonna do a review on the Mason Bowl that I've been wanting to do for so long. So stay tuned for that. But this is just an introduction to my channel. And once again, I'm Kayway, and you're watching Smokey and Live. Make sure you guys smokey and subscribe, all right? I'll see you guys next time.